Hang on! I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas and wonderful New Year's celebrations and all that jazz. Um, thought today would be a good day to go ahead and film the Q&As that I had posted like a while back. Um, maybe like about a week ago or something. I had asked for questions uh, and so what I did was I printed them out and I sectioned it into two videos. Um, or it's going to be two videos rather. One's going to be the I guess quote unquote fun questions to answer and the other ones are going to be more informative that I got asked. <sighs> so I'm going to try to go th through them really quick so if I kind of just like briefly answer your question, don't take any offense to it, I'm just trying to answer everyone's question as fast as I can so this doesn't turn into like a 30 minute video. But if you want to know more, if maybe I, you want me to extend and talk more about whatever question you may have asked, um, feel free to message me, um, PM me, and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. This video is going to be the fun video with the fun questions, which is kind of like random questions that I got asked. And let's go ahead and start because I've got like uh, several of them. I've got like 13 questions. So question number one calls from Buffalina Majestic and they asked, how many dolls do you have in total? Yikes. Well, I, does that, are you asking about pull-ups and obitsus included. Resin dolls, just strictly resin, uh, let's, let's go ahead and count. So nine resins, ugh, if you want to talk about ABS, like Pujo dolls, nine Pujo dolls. If you want to count obitsus, I, I'm going to guesstimate on obitsus, I'm going to say 12, because I, they're all hiding back there and I don't feel like getting them up, but I think it's 12 obitsus. Pull-ups, including the, the, Dakola or Dakala or whatever the little baby pull-up is. Five Blythe dolls. I guess you could just categorize them as that. Blythe or pull-up. So I don't know, like round that off. It was like nine for that, nine for these, another nine, that's 27, 30, 30-ish dolls maybe. I also have a question from Dark Art 888 and they asked, could you give us an update on your doll's stories and relationships with each other, especially your newer BJDs? Thanks. Um, yeah, I actually, I will save the long, long talk, and I'll do another video, um, because I know there was a BJD Addicts prompt about doll relationships and whatnot, and I really would like to do that prompt again, since I have a lot of different characters now, um, and they all kind of actually play together, which is really cool, so I will, um, do that in another video. 37 Ghoul says, I was wondering what you think of the Resin Soul Gang, and would you recommend him as a first doll? Thanks. My Resin Soul Gang is Kai, and right now he's kind of chilling back here. The Resin Soul Company is a very interesting company. They make extremely affordable dolls. Um, the SDs are like 200 bucks or something like that, which is pretty, pretty unheard of for a resin doll um, in this size range. So, I mean, I don't like to like quote unquote recommend, um, I don't like recommending dolls and telling them that yes, this is a good first time doll, you should totally buy this one, and like, because I, I believe that it's more of like a journey that whoever, if you're, if you're jumping into the hobby, that it's a journey that you should kind of go through yourself and figure out which one you like the most, because I, I would really hate to be like, yes, it is a good first time doll for you, and then you buy it, and then you just come. So I apologize, my video cut out, um, and I didn't notice it until I was editing that I was missing, like, half of my questions, but anyway, going on, so yes, I was talking about the Resin Soul Gang, basically, um, yeah, I'd hate to suggest it, and then, like, you totally hate it if you got it in, but I really do honestly like the sculpt, I do like the company as well. Um, just make sure that you know that when you do get him in, uh, there's going to have to be some adjustments that you might have to make in order for him to be, um, a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say posable, because, I mean, he poses, but, like, to hold him, like, you're going to have to sway and make sure that you, um, tighten him if he comes in loose to you, so. But I like him. I love him a lot. I love you, Kai! So, the next question comes from Ritsuka, and they said that, they have an oddball question. I don't think it's an oddball question at all. Uh, you asked if I ever thought about hosting a live BJD panel on Ustream. I actually wouldn't mind doing that. I think that'd be pretty fun. If you guys would like to see that, and if you have questions, if you want me to do, like, you know, certain panel question -y thingies, whatever, uh, topics to discuss for a panel, uh, definitely leave those in the uh, comment section below or PM me, and I will be more than happy to hear about that. That is an actually interesting 
notion. So this is this is the Dalmore uniform I was talking about. It's um now I can't remember again what it's called. It's got like a really weird name and I had to discover it for my other video because I talked about it again. But I, I love this uniform set. It comes with so much stuff. Like it comes with the shirt, it comes with the sweater, it comes with the tie, pants. If it's a girl, it comes with a skirt and it comes with I think it comes with the socks too for the girl. Uh, I could be wrong. It's kind of expensive in my eyes. Like, I think the girl's uniform for some reason is cheaper. But this is my favorite outfit. I love it. I love how the guys look in it, and when Yue wears her uniform, she looks super duper awesomely cute in it too. So that's got to be my favorite outfit. Next question. Teh Avery asks, I am wondering if people think the coolest thing about your doll is man parts. I don't think they think it's the coolest part. I think it's probably they think it's the most awkward part. I've interviewed my husband before and he thought it was really strange that they were anatomically correct and that they had junk. I I don't find it interesting. I just I'm just like, okay, they put that there. I'm not like, whoa now, look at that stuff down there in his pants. Like I'm not it's not anything weird to me. I I'm just kinda like, okay, they did that, whatever. Although, you know what I actually, I do find annoying is that the girls, they're, sometimes their uh, headlights are a little bit too strong, and I'm just like, man, I wish I could kind of sand them off, but the idea of that's like really like morbid sounding. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's all parts. Next question comes from Livy542, and they asked, I'd like to know more about your Doll Leaves Anthony character in story. And actually, somebody else, which was Malkov05, also asked about my doll leaves Anthony which is this guy right here his name is Ash um, I actually have not talked about him before oh I haven't poor guy I love him so much I really do I love this guy so much like he's so freakingly like boyish cute and I like his high cheekbones and everything he makes me smile whenever I see him because he's just so different from my other dolls that I have just because his face just looks like, way different a lot of my other dolls have really big open eyes and stuff. And he's just way, way out there. But, um, I, I would love to do more info about this guy. I will probably do a separate video for him because it's kind of a long story. But he's actually in the story with my SDs. All my SDs are in one story together. He's in the story too because of her. Um, I'm not going to jump too much into it, but he's got the biggest crush on her. It's funny. But yeah, he's got the hugest crush on her. And of course she's... It's like a sad, typical shoujo manga story. That's how my doll characters run. But yeah, of course, you know, he's she's head over heels over the jerk. Da-da. So... <sighs> Love triangles. Next question comes from Eden Elska. Um, and they actually asked a very interesting question. They asked about what do you think of the ABJD Confessions vlogs on Tumblr. I, I got I got mixed reviews on that. Like, I, I'm all for people giving and expressing their opinions and whatnot. And, and I may be confusing this with another one, but I know there's like two two blogs on Tumblr. And I think one of it could be the same one. I could be very wrong. I, I don't know. But I know I know the main gist of why she's asking this question is they do a lot of controversial stuff. Um, and sometimes they're just flat out rude in my opinion sometimes. The end story for me about any blogs like that in that genre of blogging is, you know what, that's cool for you to have opinions and stuff, but when it starts affecting other people and you're actually pointing out specific people, then that's just low. You have nothing else better to do than just to criticize other people. I mean, seriously, this is... I think I think the ones that I may have heard of or seen before is like when people... I think they've posted pictures of people's like face-ups and they like make fun of them and stuff. They're like, whoa, I guess this one had like a hard night, you know? and they'll just like show the picture of who it is and they're really scummy about it they're just like well you shouldn't have put your picture on the internet or you need to learn how to laugh I don't know if this is it it could be it I'm not 100 percent sure but in that genre or realm seriously people like that's just bullying and like why are you doing that and it's not something that you just oh just laugh it off because I'm pretty sure if someone came up to you and was like oh wow you look ugly like what's wrong with you that's like 
that's hurtful. Like, I don't know why anybody would do that and just, like, let's make a blog out of it. It's not, you know... There's constructive criticism, and then there's just, like, bullying and stupid people. So. And if my stuff were to ever appear on that site, or if anybody were to talk about me, I would literally just let it roll down my back. I would not give a crap. I mean, it'd probably bother me because I'd be like, really? But then I'd be like, wow, this person has nothing better to do but to put whatever my dolls on there on that website, whatever. I whatever. I don't know if I'd be like, ha 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 ha, that's so awesome, they put me on that site. Like, I wouldn't be, like, laughing at it, I'd just be like, well, okay, whatever. Hope they got whatever boost they needed by posting my stuff there. And then just carry on with life. Moving on! Adriel Ward asks, do all your dolls fit into a large story? My SD dolls do. Uh, my MSDs, they're kind of like a mixture. It's really weird. Um... I know my twins are kind of like, you know, their own thing, and then my two Hudo dolls kind of have their own story type deal. Um, Claudio doesn't really fit in anywhere, he's just kind of there, he's kind of chill. Um, but my SDs for sure, they, they all fall into a big story, which I've yet to write down, but I just continue. It's just like they have personalities and stuff, and I'm just like, oh, they would think that, or they would do that. It's not like I have like a long... 10 chapter story written out anywhere. I was going to write a story, but I'm terribly, terrible bad at doing stuff like that. Um, it's supposed to be MFEO, uh, which is made for each other. My sister was going to help me out, um, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So, yeah. Next question. Blizzaz asked, how are you liking the new job? That was a really nice question to ask because it's just like so random. It's not really doll related, but I really like it. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I started teaching. I actually teach kindergarten, um, which is super interesting. I, If you want to know more about it, I'll tell you all you want to know. Uh, but it's good. I'm very happy to have my job and it helps me, um, you know, pay for bills and whatnot. So it's good. I like it. It's got those days though. It's got those days. Thank you for asking. Next question! It comes from Me So 25 or Kemes So 25 and they asked, do you ever go to SakuraCon or KomoriCon? They're based in Portland and Vancouver, Washington. If you do, I'd love to come to one of your panels. Actually, no, I have not been to those cons, but if I ever did magically get invited to another con, I would totally home, as long as it's affordable for me to get there. Um, no, I actually just do a lot of Texas cons, because that's where I live, and honestly, like, I'll go wherever. I like going to cons, and I loved, I actually love doing the panels. I've done three panels so far? Three, I think? Two or three. Two or three. It's a lot of fun. I really like it. If anybody's been to my panels, like, I'm super crazy. Like, I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. I'm just like, oh! Like, excited just to be there, so, yes. Next question comes from Sassy Andrews, and Sassy Andrews says, I always see people talking about free stuffs that Junkie Spot, Junkie Spot sends along. Do they always include random goodies, or is it by chance? It is definitely not by chance. They always send something with your order. Yes, and that wraps it up for my fun, fun questions that I got asked. If you actually watch this whole movie video thing, high five! because that was totally random. But I hope it kind of answered those questions that people had asked me, you know, whatnot. Like I said, if you have any more, um, want me to extend or talk about more about something, just feel free to PM me or message me, whatevs. And I'll be more than happy to do so! I hope you have a good day, and if you're curious, please look down in the comment section below, and I will post the link for the next video, which is the informative video, which is the questions that I got asked that were more on the information side. Have an awesome day!